Hello everyone, it's me, Emily. Today I am refilming an intro to what's going to be my first video on my channel. And I looked back at the footage that I filmed and I was I was looking bad, bad, not good. Bad, bad, not good. So I thought I would re-film it because I couldn't be giving you the super realness, like jump scare. I couldn't be doing that uh, because like face reveal. So I thought that I would do my makeup. Well, it's raining outside, isn't it nice? Hope you can hear it. And I would go through some of my unpopular opinions uh, while I get ready. Okay, let's go. Just gonna take these out. Tried this thing for the first time last night. And yes, that is a McDonald's sock. Ooh. It's given King Louis the Sun King. I don't know, we'll brush it out properly later. I'm just gonna pin it back. Does anyone else put it on the camera and then suddenly forget everything? Like, what is the first step of my makeup? Honestly, I think I'm gonna do brows and lashes first. My first unpopular opinion is Tequila tastes like Dettol. It tastes like Dettol. You cannot tell me that it does not taste like Dettol. And it's not just because it looks like Dettol. I'll get some Dettol. I hope people know what this is. Maybe it's just like a common mold thing. It's an antiseptic. <laughs> Maybe because it has a slight scent that smell. of tequila under like the kind of tea tree smell. It kind of has a bit of a, a smelly smell that smells agave. What is tequila made of? See, look, I turn on the camera. I forget everything. Hey, what is tequila made of? It is agave. Yeah, it kind of does have that agave smell to it under the kind of antiseptic tea tree and of course it's got the same kind of color so maybe that is what my palette is detecting i am not recommending suggesting tasting that all do not do it you will most likely die just have a think about it if you know what that all looks like smells like it's the kind of thing where, I'll say it, like, you've never tasted, but you know what it would probably taste like just from smelling it. It's that kind of thing. I have another unpopular opinion about how an alcoholic beverage tastes, but also for next time, you know that I've got to bloody fill in my eyebrows. What did I tell you about forgetting everything? Okay, we're gonna start over. Another unpopular opinion, it's okay to use face wipes. If you can afford the biodegradable, please get the biodegradable. But if you got depression, you get a free pass. You get a free pass on the face wipes. Because sometimes, if you're not using them, your face ain't getting cleaned. Your underarms are getting good and cleaned. If you got depression, you can use the face wipes. Okay. Honestly, the amount of time that I have spent doing nothing, laying in a room, lights off, I'm saving a lot of energy. It's actually not a joke. Please don't feel bad about using face wipes if it's the only way for you to be able to wash your face wash under your arms, ones for babies, for other places. Yes. Back to the brow job. So my next unpopular opinion is, don't take this personally, if it's you. It is, if you talk in the library, you are trash. Trash. I don't know 
how all these people missed the trope of do not talk in the library because it's in like every kids show, probably in every sitcom, you know, the trope of the librarian being like, Shh. so I don't know how these people miss out on that. It's just a thing. You're not supposed to talk in the library. It's supposed to be a place where people can concentrate. I don't know, some people act like the library is like a place to socialize. I have been there whilst people talk on the phone and it's just annoying. It really grinds my gears. And there's just so many people that don't think it's a big, big deal. They're like, you know, like, just let people be. Like, it's not that bad. Like, if you can't handle it, put in some noise cancelling headphones. And first of all, bitch, not everyone can afford them. So I think instead of us having to do like defensive act of putting in noise cancelling headphones in the library, just don't, just don't. While I was on exchange, the university that I was at, their library had a policy where <laughs> if someone was making noise, like talking, and you weren't even allowed to eat in this library, like you get out a muesli bar and it's like, oh, you get out and everyone's like, which fair enough, I guess it's the rules. And what you could do in this library is if someone was talking, <laughs> a hotline where you could text into the librarian and dob them in and look I never used it because honestly everyone respected the whole the whole rule and I think it, it doesn't need to be a rule I think it's an unspoken rule if it's just like can you pass me the pen can you do that just give a little whisper give a little tap give a little give a little mime that's fine, look, do it. But don't be having whole conversations. Where are we gonna eat? What did this person say? Oh my God, look, writing an essay isn't, it's not group work. If you want to bounce around some ideas, go outside, Mary, go outside, go to a cafe. Just in the library, just shh. Secrets. Shh, keep it quiet. So the next one, I'm a little wary of. I wasn't sure if I was gonna put it in. I don't know, like, don't really wanna make comment on people's appearances and stuff. Don't wanna be a meanie. So I thought about not putting this in. But then I thought, look, this person probably does not care about my opinion. I get the vibe that they don't really care about any woman's opinion <laughs> especially those people that are over 25 and not a supermodel this has been in my head for years whenever i see a photo of leonardo dicaprio and we're talking like current current times i think that he has an uncanny resemblance to the cowboy line. Oh my. <laughs> Look, I'm just gonna have to put a side by side. I don't know. When I say that someone looks like someone, you just, my friends are like, what do you mean? But I don't know. If you see it, let me know. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make this the last one because I'm not doing a good job while I'm trying to like talk to you guys. Um, I don't know how the how the real seasoned professional YouTubers do it. Things aren't going on that smoothly. Look, I'm the type of person that really has to concentrate when they're putting on their makeup. I'm always the one that is uh, getting ready until the last minute. Not all of us are blessed with being naturally naturally gorgeous some of us you know have to take our time and i'm so relishing it i put on the music i get the vibe going i get the drink if i'm going out oh it's really raining and the frogs are going off the last one is i don't really like passing clothes when there are other people it's whatever they look fine but on me 
I don't like having clothes. It's just not something that is aesthetically pleasing. There's this one Australian designer called Camilla. And I did not come across Camilla until I went to uni slash college, lived at college. And when you're in these places, there's often a lot of rich kids. And so Camilla is a very expensive brand. It's like $700 for a cafe. First of all, $700 and the patterns. It was like a jungle, leopard print, all smashed into one. I just, no, nah, I didn't think that it looked worth $700. You could go out to like the bargain bin at Linkrobbed. There might be something like that in there. But some people love it. And honestly, like, if they put it on and they're like, and they're having fun because they are like fun prints, then great. Unpopular opinion. Why do you want your makeup with a brush? And you can do it like this. With your hands. <laughs> Just had to go out and do with the torrential rain. Ooh, it's giving um the beast when he goes into the man. Give it up delicious. Okay, that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. I honestly hope that I wasn't too much of a nasty pasty in this video. I hope you enjoyed some of my unpopular opinions. I'm going to go film this intro, um, go comment on the video if you came from here slash recognize where this one comes from um, and I will see you next time. Lips are given pump. Also like, comment and subscribe please. Bye.